What's up, family? It's your girl, Shanice, and I want to welcome you back to the Women's Palisade. So today, you guys, I want to talk about just because you could doesn't always mean you should, right? This is self-explanatory, but this is just something I'm learning in my journey, and I want to come and bring it to you guys, right? And this goes to every aspect of your life, right? I'm learning just because you could buy the house or get that apartment, right? Just because you could doesn't always mean you should. Just because you could cuss somebody out, right? Give them a piece of your mind. Tell them about themselves. Put them down. Doesn't always mean you should. Just because you could do something does not mean you should. You're right. And um, that's the power and the exercising of discipline. We know the key word in discipline, I mean, in disciple is same word in discipline, right? And um, we have to exercise our discipline. With discipline, right, we are learning how to um, not do something our flesh wants. Because a lot of times, it's all, the battle is between our flesh and our spirit, right? And um, denying self is a part of the discipline. I may want this house. I may want this apartment. I may want this car, right? And I may have the funds too, right? It's not always about, like I said, I could, but that doesn't mean I should because you got to think long term. You got to think about the plan. You got to think about God's will. And God's will may be right now, you know what? Even though I could get this house, I'm not going to do it because right now God wants me to stay still. God wants me to stay in this predicament, right? Even though... In a sense, I feel this is above, uh, below my means, right? Or this is, I, I'm above this, right? Because a lot of times we can think of we are above certain situations and God is like, I called you to be in that situation because I need you to get something out of that, right? So it's all about disciplining yourself to, you know what? Okay, I'm going to wait. That's how you get exalted is by, you know what? I'm going to deny myself and denying yourself is humbling yourself and it actually goes hand in hand with being meek the meek will in inherit the earth right and even with um people right because i don't know if you guys watched the video where i was tested uh, a couple weeks ago right and in a sense it was a blessing right because i got so used to um my confinements with my living conditions who i was around and i kind of learned how to navigate but then when new people came into the land so to say right it kind of revealed me like my um impatience right um yeah i started to say to god like you know what i don't like people and we're not required to like people right i'm very introverted um i can go out i can have fun but then it's a time where i want to get back to myself like i want to get back and just be by myself right but um in that sense, they were showing me me. I have to work on being more patient. I have to be more kind, right? Because, um, yeah, I'm not going to even lie to you. People get on my nerves, and I'm not going to play. Like, but that was showing me me. And God was like, see, you can think when you're in this uh, environment by yourself. Because like I said, I'm an introvert. I work best by myself. Like, I work best in my confinements of myself, right? I do have social skills. I do be able, but then, like I said, at a certain time, it's like, okay, when you going out? At a certain time, it's like, let me go back. But when you are put in a predicament where it's a weekend of family, a weekend of, you know, having to be around this pe uh, people, that you're not used to being around is showing you you so yeah i could tell you about yourself because i'm seeing yourself right i'm seeing who you are i'm seeing your flaws but guess what i have flaws too right but it's always easier to see other people so here i am i could tell you about yourself i can be mean thinking i'm doing a service right i'm doing a service by telling you you full of mess i'm doing a service and god is like ah 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 like I said, some people come to show you you. It's not always about them and I got to tell you about yourself. No, 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 no. Maybe that's just God putting a mirror to you. Like, hey, you ain't got that much patience as you think. You in the confinement of yourself, so you just think you acing it. Oh, God, I got this. I'm getting this revelation. I'm doing this. But it comes to a point in your life where everything you're learning, everything God is revealing to you, God is going to be like, okay, now let's practice what you preach. I don't need you to just come into this world because you got to, you can't just read the word and you got to be a doer of the word. So it's like, it's like a test. It's school, right? You learning all this stuff and then God is going to put you in a predicament to 
apply what you have learned, right? And then you get to see your score. And that's where I was at, right? Where I was like, okay, but it was a blessing because I learned it in the midst. It was, it didn't get over and I just seen it and I was like, oh my gosh, I failed. No, I was in the middle of it and I was able to course correct, right? But in that, this is where I'm learning. Not only people show you you, but also just because I could doesn't mean I should. And that's every area, right? Even with finances, with people, with yourself. A lot of times we want to, we can have so much freedom, but God is looking at you. Are you a good steward? And a lot of times we can get to, we can put ourselves in a ceiling, so to say, right? Because we're asking God for increase. We're doing all this and God begins to gradually grow you. But as God begins to gradually grow you, you get excited. Okay, let me go do this and let me go do that. And God is like, no. How can I trust you? Because with little, um, I don't, I forgot the scripture. It's a scripture that talks about, um, I'm a paraphrase. Basically, your whatever you, whatever you have with little is what you're gonna be with much. And if y'all know the scripture, y'all can write it down in the comments. Um, but that scripture. So God is making me realize that whatever in, your enlargement is not gonna change your situation, right? you got to change you in order to get there. And a lot of times, like I said, God will begin to gradually grow you and he'll watch how you store it over what you're asking for. And a lot of times we can get stuck in, um, in the process of excelling or accelerating, right. And increasing, um, because we start, Oh, I could, let me go do it. Just because you could, doesn't always mean you should. Sometimes we put a ceiling on what God is trying to put an open heaven right? God is like, this is only a little bit, but I want to see what you do with this little bit. I want to see if you're going to go run out and live above your means, or are you going to, you know what? I'm going to sit here and wait for, to get everything I need out of this situation and increase my giving and increase God's kingdom right now, right? You want to be able to discipline yourself because a lot of times we want what we want. And then as God begins to grow us, right? God would do exceedingly above what we think or imagine. And we limit that because we start just running off what we, what we want with what we want instead of disciplining ourselves saying, okay, I could go do that, but you know what? I'm going to wait. How about I ask God? And that's what I'm learning with myself. I'm learning to ask God because you don't want to get yourself out of the will of God. And I'm learning, um, as I, as I know, I'm in this transition period and I've been looking at places, right? All this other stuff. And I was talking to my grandma and she was saying, what's stopping you, right? It's nothing really, um, physically that's stopping me. But like I said, I'm in, uh, I was listening to a sermon. I don't know who it was, but this is not my revelation. And she was saying that, you know, sometimes we can go off and do things, right? And we're going to this place or this city or this house. And we're trying to figure out, God, why are you, uh, why is it not going well? Or why is my provision not here? Or why this or why that? We can have all these whys, right? And God is like, I didn't call you to move there right? So this is where I'm learning. Just because I could doesn't always mean I should. God, is this your will for my life? When you are walking with God, you have to learn continually to ask, God, is this your will for my life, right? This is made, This is what I want, but what do you want? That's what I've been learning in this season. Don't always do a thing just because you could, right? Just because you could put a person down. And let me add this too, and I'm going to make this video just suck with me y'all i don't i don't post that as much as i should just because i god has me in this season of rest right and um yeah so enjoy the video so let me say that i was watching a video on forgiveness right and you will know when you genuinely forgiven a person and let me say forgiveness is not a journey it's a choice healing is the journey right But with this is you would know when you forgiven a person, when you have the opportunity to uh, out that person, destroy that person, or use the weapon against the person and you don't. I thought about what Saul and David, David had the opportunity to kill Saul, right? He had the opportunity, but he didn't. 
and I was listening to Tiffany Buckner, Anointed Fire, on YouTube. And she was saying, you know, sometimes we forgive with our head and not our heart. And I have the opportunity. It really blew my mind because I had the opportunity to literally tell this person. I had, okay, so what she said was the enemy will put the weapon in your hand for you to kill off this person. And God will see. Like I said, people show you you. God will show you, you ain't forgave that person or whatever. I literally had the opportunity, the weapon to kill this person off, so to say, right? And I'm not going to lie, y'all. It was a struggle. It was a struggle because a part of me so bad wanted to go there. But I just felt in my spirit, God was telling me, don't say nothing. Don't respond. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I didn't have the thoughts in my head. But I was calling on God. God, help me. I forget this person. I released them into the freedom of my forgiveness. I, I told God, lay not to their charge the things that they have done unto me. Right? And it's crazy to me. How I had that incident when I was telling God, don't lay it to their charge, don't lay it to their charge, because I'm learning to take accountability for myself, right? A lot of times we can put ourselves in certain situations, and then when people react and they buck, you know, and uh, they get the consequences, right? Because I know my position with God, and I just know God, how play touch not my anointed, right? You know, when you walk with God, you know God, how, how God is about you. So I felt in a sense. It was my fault because I shouldn't put myself in that predicament. So I was like, you know what, God, lay not lay not that to his charge. You know, I take accountability. I shouldn't put myself in that situation. I repent, right? And um, as much as I wanted to respond, God helped me with that. Glory to God. And I I, I didn't, I didn't, because I could have, I had the weapon. Y'all don't know. It's crazy to me. I had got some information, Jesus, 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 and that's how I know God <laughs> be working. I had got some information about a person that can literally uh, just put them to shame, put them to sunder, right? And I was like, I'm not going to even go there. I'm not going to even go there. Like, And that's where I was learning yesterday how they were saying the enemy will give you the weapon. The enemy was given to me. I talked to somebody. Um God delivered me from, right? But in all reality, it, I felt like it was everything correlates as far as God, the way God sets it up because I learned something um, that I would have not known if I didn't talk to the person. And like I said, it was information that I could have used. That was my weapon. But in that situation, I chose not to use it. I chose to, you know what? I forgive this person. God, I repent. Lay it not to their charge. And it's crazy how I watched that video and she was saying that, you would know you have forgiven when, you know, when the last time you pray for your enemies, when the last time you ask God to lay it not to their charge, when is the last time, you know, you had the weapon, but you didn't use it. And it was crazy to me how I had just went through that situation and I was on a fast when this was happening um, because it's hard, right? Like, let's be clear, denying your flesh, praying for your enemies, the enemies that you feel me, people below out here, okay? full blown devil in the flesh i'm talking about okay this ain't no little play play oh no no i, I had to call on god because myself my my flesh baby wanted to go there my flesh wanted to go there but it was everything in me god like no keep your mouth closed praise me worship me you know what release it don't don't even lay it to they charge forgive them right so in that sense, it was a win for me because even though I went through God showing me me, showing the ugly parts of me and my, you know, my character flaws, um, me not having any patience at times.